Lizzie, you bring us in. You're getting better. Ready? Hi, welcome to Gas Station Garbage. It's it's us again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> We have received multiple requests to do our next item, um, which we got this at Weigel's. Probably not a lot of B-roll footage, because at this point, if you don't know what Weigel's looks like, go back and watch some of our other videos. We've done a few uh, reviews of their food items. So we went to Weigel's and got what many of you have already suggested multiple times, which are... Bosco pizza sticks. Yeah, apparently. And you know, I was thinking, as, as we were preparing to do this, I was trying to think, is there any food in stick form that I don't like? Try to think about that. Bosco pizza sticks, um, we found these under the uh, under the lamp at the Weigel's. Uh, I love the marketing. Obviously the target market here is for young people. They've, they've adorned the front with, uh, with cartoons. Did we get one a piece? We each got one. There, Nick, there's your Bosco stick. They were nice enough to, to go back and heat one up for us. Yeah, there are only one of us is going to get the lucky Bosco stick. One of these is heated uh, recently. The other two were under the lamp. Not uh, quite sure how long they've been under there. Pretty stiff. Pretty yeah. Annoying. Pretty stiff, and that makes me a little nervous because I went to the dentist last week and I have a temporary crown. Oh man! If I pop this thing off because of a Bosco's pizza stick, that will um, affect the rating. And you can expect the next gas station garbage review to be pudding. First off, it's dusted with Parmesan cheese. Dusted with Parmesan. I welcome that, but listen to this. Oh, shit. Maybe middle. you should eat it like a corn on the cob. Well, I'll just play it by ear. Okay, yeah. that's fine too. That's fine too. Uh, not expensive at all. Bosco sticks uh, each are a dollar. So with tax, a dollar eight out the door per Bosco. If you're in Tennessee, um, it's a dollar eight. Probably cheaper, literally anywhere, anywhere else. else. Yeah. So uh, you can also it the the packaging exclaims that you can get free stuff at BoscoPizza.com. I don't know how you get the free stuff, but you can go there and get it. Maybe you collect Bosco points right. or something. But either way, get the free stuff. You know when you get pizza, you can smell it even when it's in the box. For uh -huh. this, you have to put it right to your nose to smell pizza at all. It's true. That is true. So that is true. Good I'm observation. I'm anticipating this being tasteless. You know what it smells like? 1984 Kmart. Well, these are getting cold, folks, so I think that we really have uh, no choice but to go ahead and just dig right in. Bosco Sticks, gas station garbage. You're going to be able to do it? It's really hard. <laughs> no. I think you should. No. I think you right. should eat it from mm. the middle. Break bread, y'all. I must have got some stuff from. Insides look pretty decent, though. A lot of pepperoni action, a lot of sauce action. It's not a paste, from what I can tell. It is. It looks like mint pepperoni. Mm. The outside, hard as a rock. If you have a temporary crown, that's not happening. <laughs> so, heed heed that warning. They're, so, it's messy. I'm I'm making a mess. Yeah, I'm I just shot grease on myself. You have grease. Dude, you have all sorts of cheese. I have no cheese in mine. Look at that. Mine's pretty much empty. Yeah, well, the cheese is greased, and it just <laughs> shot it all over one of my favorite t-shirts. So, oh, Lizzie deconstructed hers. Look at hers. You got so much cheese in yours. Yeah, I do. Like, Mine's cheesy. We're making a huge mess. This oh. is really messy. We're gonna yeah, have a lot of time. crumbs. Very, very crumbly and flaky. I mean, this is basically a hot pocket. Yeah. At, at the end of the day. But it tastes worse. It explodes <laughs> or every so bite. It does. I'm covered in Parmesan cheese. I'm covered in now cheese grease. Um, the crumbs just turned into smaller crumbs. <laughs> so I'm afraid to take this last bite, or like not to take this all in one bite, because I know this is just going to destroy the grease everywhere. It's going to spurt grease all over the place. I'm jealous that you have grease. Put that whole big bite in your mouth, you're going to die. I'll be all right. All this makes me want to do is go get a real pizza. Mm. If you're, not it could be worse satisfying. feelings to. If you're in the mood for an item that's going to make you want pizza, Bosco's. Mm -hmm. Are we ready to rate, or is there anything else left to? I gotta think about it for a minute. God, yours like... is incredibly crunchy. Here at Gas Station Garbage, we rate everything on a super scientific scale of one to ten Gordon Ramsays. With that being said, Nick. Where do the Bosco pizza sticks from Weigel's fall on that scale for you? This wasn't that great. Um, 
And, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a heat lamp food. So I think you've got a time limit on how good it's gonna be and when it's gonna start to get really, really like crunchy and, and rock hard. The taste isn't bad if, once you get into the, like the guts of it. I think it has a good taste. I mean, it's pepperoni and, and cheese and marinara sauce. Or in your case, cheese and marinara sauce, as we soon discovered. So it's not great, but you're also getting what you pay for. And so I think that has to be considered. At $1, I don't feel super salty about what I got for that price. Um, and with that said, if this had been super expensive, I would have given it like super, super low marks, but on the much lower end, four Gordon Ramsay's for me. Oh, still low. Yeah. Four Just Gordon under Ramsay. the halfway mark. Gotcha. Lizzie. Yeah, I'm gonna go with four Gordon Ramsay's as well for the Bosco pizza stick. I was a little excited about it because I like pizza and it sounded good for, you know, a day after work. Don't have to cook, go get some pizza. But it was disappointing. It was, the outside was hard and dry and the filling was kind of the same. Not hard, but it, there wasn't much to it. Um, and it just made me wanting pizza. So now I just want pizza. Um, so four for me, yep. Four Gordon Rims. Okay. You know, I'm going to go one higher. I'm going to go five. The taste was great. However, to Lizzie's point, you had to bite two bites into the bread before you got to the filling. I think mine is probably also a little bit higher because I think I got the fresh one, the one that they made. And you got a different one. And I got a different one. Mine was cheesy. Now, with that being said, none of yours squirted out excess grease everywhere. I'm going to have to go home and stain stick this shirt now because I've got tiny grease droplets all over it. So, uh, five Gordon Ramsay's from me. Um, not entirely sure why multiple fans are enamored with this one, but uh, hey, I could, I could guess. to each to each their I own, guess. I suppose. Uh, you know, um, maybe maybe next time we'll do. Uh, they had two versions. Maybe the other version is what they were talking about. They said one was kind of a garlicky cheesy bread, and these were the got, these though. were the pizza sticks. No, mine. I don't think the other ones have marinara in them. This oh, one you're right. Yeah. There was there was one under the heat yeah. lamp that was in a bigger bag that was like she said it was cheesy. So yeah, but I mean so. this. This is a jawbreaker. I'm trying to squeeze this bread right now as hard as I can. It's not doing anything. It's unyielding, completely unyielding. For Adam, Nick, Lizzie, we certainly appreciate it. If you are so obliged, over here next to Nick somewhere, there's a little gas station garbage logo. Click that and then subscribe to us and then like all of our videos. That helps us out a lot. You can also find us at facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage or youtube.com forward slash gas station garbage. Uh, Bosco sticks are... Turns out Bosco is on YouTube too, so we're going to look them up and maybe link them to this video. Yep. We'll catch you all next time. See ya. Thanks for watching. Bye.